Really? The blue door? Be sure to close it behind you. I get it. I was a Pokemon blue kid myself. But be warned, the path before you is beset on both sides by dust. For all is dust. Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines are eye-catching because of their physically mutated and iconic ancient Egyptian design. Plus, that vibrant colour scheme of blues, golds, purples and pinks. So now, we are going to test the capabilities of the Army Painter's range of Fnatic paints. I've selected a Thousand Sun Space Marine model that has a little bit of everything going on. This is a Sorcerer with Warp Stave. I'm beginning on the armour with a coat of Abyssal Blue, which looks like it will be a great mid-tone base colour for the armour. Soon I will go darker in some areas of shadows and brighter in other areas for my highlights. Generally, I would have begun with a black prime over the whole model and that's it. However, you will notice that this model is being given a light zenithal spray with white primer as well. This will be useful if I was using thin paints like airbrushing inks or painting speed paints over the top, but I'm base coating with opaque paints, so what gives? Well the answer is simple, this model is second hand and was already built and primed when it arrived. Mixing in some Imperial Navy to create a darker colour and I'm working my way around the armour and painting in the recessed shadow areas and the panel lines to create some depth. The Thousand Suns are a traitor legion sworn solely to the service of Zinj, the chaos god of change, intrigue and sorcery. They were once the 15th legion, but now these space marines are distinguishable from the rest from their vast number of psychic mutations, with each member of the legion now possessing psychic abilities. From dark to light as I mix some aqua alchemy into my abyssal blue. Perfect names for Thousand Sun models. I'm highlighting pieces of armour with thin layer lines in the raised sections just like this. Demonic yellow for the alternating lines on their decorations and I'm being careful not to bump my blue areas. But I don't mind if the paint runs into the other areas as I will have an opportunity to tidy this up shortly. I love painting robes and cloths on marines and I'll show you in this video how I like to quickly paint mine. Starting with a base of ancient stone and because this is such a light colour going over the top of dark colours, I've thinned my paint down and conceded that I may need multiple coats until I have a smooth coverage. While this dries I can tidy up those panel lines between the blue and yellow decorations. The armour of these Rubric Marines is irreplaceable, for each suit has been fused with the essence of the warrior inside. The armour is a grim reminder of the devastation done unto this legion. I have several brands of gold metallics in my paint rack, as I'm always on the prowl for one that isn't frustrating to paint with. Too thin and it's a battle of not having any coverage across the model, and too thick and it gets clumpy. Greedy gold is going on nicely, and that's lucky because there's plenty of ornamental trim on this marine's armour. A wash of soft tone across the model and look how it transforms from this base layer to now a warm looking gold and darker recessed panel lines. This is the stage of painting where I start to see my models come to life. Whilst I have the soft tone out, I add a few drops of thinner and wash this over the top of the fabrics. It hardly looks like it's making a difference, but you'll see here how I paint a few coats and each time I do, I'm painting closer to the bottom of the areas, so this creates a simple and gradual transition from bright at the top to a tint of brown towards the bottom and in the folds of the fabric. But each time I'm waiting for one area to dry, I jump to another section and continue base coating over to some more metallic areas and blocking them out with plate mail silver which looks identical to your classic gun metal style medals.
first lot of layers for the robe and these whites and bones are behaving the same as the Vallejo range that I use. I love Games Workshop paints, but for me, I found their equivalents could be difficult to work with. With these highlights, I'm also introducing those very thin crosshatch patterns. I think it's a simple way to convey the message that this is fabric. Exalted sorcerers have an encyclopedic knowledge of spells and they're able to bend reality to their very desires. They are capable of tearing their enemies to shreds with devastating magical barrages. I mix a little marine mist and hydro turquoise together for one final highlight on the armour because I'm just having fun now. Fun fact, marine mist is also what you call it when an Astarte steps in front of a plasma cannon. I know you come here for the jokes. What else is left to do? I'll paint the demonic skin and it's time to hold my breath to paint the eyes. Ah. I'll work on a sandy colored base to tie into that ancient Egyptian theme and you can sense that I'm close to finishing this model. If you've made it this far, you've either fallen asleep or you're enjoying the video series. If it is in fact the latter, I hope you'll consider hitting the like button below as this helps promote the video to new viewers who may also get something out of them. If you're new to the channel, feel free to introduce yourself below. Myself and the regulars will no doubt welcome you and encourage you on your own hobby journey. time to check out our finished model and then you will be faced with the decision of choosing our next path. This was a lot of fun to paint, and there's nothing boring about Thousand Suns Chaos Space Marines. You can really play around with different vibrant colors and different techniques, but now has come the time for you to make your important decision. Behind the green door, your loyalty and faith will be questioned despite your relentless pursuit of duty to the God Emperor. Or behind the red door awaits nothing but brutal carnage and destruction as you seek favor with your God through the most violent combat imaginable. Choose now, but choose wisely, and I will see you there.